go. Turn with me, amen, if you would. Turn with me in your Bibles to the book of Psalms. Very, very familiar passage of Scripture. Amen. Psalms number 23. Amen. It's so familiar. Amen. We may not even need to turn there. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalms 23. And the word of the Lord says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thou rod and thy staff, it comforts me. Thou prepareth the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The word of the Lord is already blessed. You may be seated. Our Father, help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. A clause, first verse says, the Lord is. Amen. And that's what I want to preach from. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is. Hallelujah. It's amazing because our music ministry has already, amen, has already prepared the way, amen, by telling us our God is awesome. Hallelujah. Who is God? What is his nature? Is God one being? Is God two beings? Three, is God a family? What does the word Elohim mean? Does it speak of one or more than one being? The truth were to be told throughout the centuries, students of the Bible have searched for the answers to these questions. Questions about what God or who God is have been debated down throughout the centuries. The Word of God declares for you, and the Word of God declares for me who God, it declares for us, brothers and sisters, who God is. Truth were to be told, Psalms 23 is probably one of the most quoted passages throughout the entire Bible. From hospital rooms to prison cells, sunny skies to stormy seas, weddings and at funerals, from the White House to the courtroom. Psalms 23, brothers and sisters, fills every, it fills every need. Now, the scripture speaks much about the isness of God. For God is more than the human mind can imagine. For the Bible says that God is spirit. It says God is love. The Bible declares, amen, that God is in control, that God is good. The Bible says that God is able. The psalmist says, God is my light and he is my salvation. God is faithful. God is great. God is merciful. God is gracious. The Bible says God is a sun and uh, a shield. In another place, it says that God is a consuming fire. He's omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent. All to say, brothers and sisters, that the God of the Bible, God is. Now, the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms is a book of human emotions. Other book talks about, amen, actions, amen, hallelujah, but Psalms, amen, it speaks of human emotions, something that all of us can relate to. Psalms, it, it, it talks about love, it talks about joy. The emotion of anger you, you find in the Psalms. Uh, it talks about distress, depression. It talks about revenge. Amen, the Psalms. It talks about victory. Amen. It's all found right there in the book, in the book of Psalms. Now, Psalms 23, Rogers, is uniquely positioned. It's positioned between Psalm number 22 and Psalms number 24. I know that sounds, amen, hallelujah, really, really simple, uh, amen. If it's 23, it has to come behind 22 and before, it has to come before, amen, 24. But the reason I said that is because, amen, Psalms 22, if you take your time and read it, you'll find out it's the psalm, brothers and sisters, of Mount 
Calvary. Hallelujah. In fact, Jesus, amen, quotes from that psalm when he's there on the cross on Mount Calvary. He says, my God, my God, uh, why hast thou forsaken me? Psalms 22 is the psalm of Mount Calvary. But then Psalms 24, brothers and sisters, amen, that's the psalm of another mountain, amen. That's not, amen, Mount Calvary, that's Mount Zion, amen. And in 24, you'll find out it says, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be you lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Psalms 24, brothers and sisters, is the psalm of the king in his coming, uh, in his coming glory. So in between, amen, these two mountains, amen, hallelujah, Mount Calvary on one side, Mount Zion on the other side, amen, you have David, amen, singing about, amen, the valley, hallelujah. But at at the feet of every mountain, brothers and sisters, there is, amen, the valley. And parenthetically, let me say this for those of us, amen, who might find ourselves walking through a valley, amen, on today, that God is so awesome uh, that he is the lily, amen, of the valley. Somebody should have shouted, amen, right there. That speaks of his awesomeness, amen, hallelujah. The only lily that you can find growing in a valley, amen, would have to be, amen, it would have to be, amen. And the Lord, hallelujah, in this valley, in between these two mountains, David describes it as the uh, valley of the shadow of death. Now, 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 23 is so unique, amen, hallelujah. It's, it's so familiar, brothers and sisters, hallelujah, that we can miss, amen, hallelujah, some of the magnificence, amen, of the text because of its familiarity. In fact, someone once said familiarity breeds, uh, it breeds content, but now, in this psalm, amen, hallelujah, this short, powerful, familiar psalm, David, amen, hallelujah, as he pens about his relationship with God, the relationship of the shepherd and the sheep, he uses seven powerful, redemptive, amen, names of God, hallelujah, David, amen, he's the author of 23, amen, he's known, brothers and sisters, as the sweet psalm says of Israel, hallelujah, uh, uh, it is said, amen, that David penned his songs after, amen, he had conquered and overcome uh, all of his enemies, amen. He has settled, amen, the kingdom, amen, in this psalm. David understands, brothers and sisters, he understands firsthand the many needs, amen, of a sheep, but he also understands firsthand the many cares, amen, of the shepherd. David compares himself now. In this psalm, he compares himself, brothers and sisters, amen, to sheep, hallelujah, sheep are weak creatures, amen, hallelujah, they are defensive at creatures, amen, sometimes sheep, brothers and sisters, amen, sometimes, amen, they do very, very foolish things, amen, and he takes God, amen, as his protector, amen, and his provider, David wants you and wants me to know, amen, as we read 23, that God is, uh, God is, amen, his everything. I don't know about you, amen. I can, I can agree with David right there, amen. I can amen that right there. God is, amen, my, he is, brothers and sisters, my everything, huh? And I just love the way, amen, David sets up Psalms 23. I love the way, amen, hallelujah, David uses, amen, hallelujah, the names of God in this text because in the way that he does, he paints for us, amen, he paints for us this picture, amen, of who God, of who God is. Hallelujah. Now, 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 now the names of God, brothers and sisters, the names of God conveys to you and it conveys to me the power of God. The names of God, brothers and sisters, conveys to us, amen, the love of God and the names of God also conveys to us, amen, the authority, amen. It conveys to us, amen, the authority, amen, of God. Hallelujah. How many of you know, amen, that God is sovereign? How many of you know, amen, that God is in control uh, of every amen thing. Now David starts the text. He starts out by saying amen. How he reminds himself. Holly, 
that God is, amen, God is my shepherd. A wonderful metaphor, amen, because in order for God to be his shepherd, that means that David has to be, amen, his sheep. Hallelujah. God is my shepherd. Hallelujah. That's the redemptive name of Jehovah Rohi. Hallelujah. The God that is, amen, our shepherd. And no man, brothers and sisters, hear me on today because no man, regardless of who we are, no regardless, regardless of where a man we come from, hallelujah, none of us has the right, brothers and sisters, to consider ourselves the Lord's sheep unless, first of all, we've been a man converted. For the Bible does not look at men, hallelujah, as sheep, hallelujah. The Bible looks as men as goats and as wolves, hallelujah. But for David, amen, David says, amen, I am his sheep. In other words, brothers and sisters, a sheep is somebody's property, amen. Sheep are not wild animals, hallelujah. David does not say if, he does not say but, he does not say I hope so. David says, amen, the Lord is, amen, my shepherd. In other words, he's suggesting, amen, that the Lord is the one that tends to him. He's suggesting, brothers and sisters, that it's the Lord is the one that's leading him and feeding him and guiding him. Hallelujah. The shepherd, brothers and sisters, is also, he's responsible, amen, for protecting uh, his sheep. Amen. Hallelujah. David is, ex is expressing to us today, amen, that he is the Depending on the Lord, amen, and he is confident, amen, that he can lean, amen, on him, hallelujah. Anybody in church today, amen, hallelujah, you are assured of the fact that you can put all of your weight, amen, on God, amen. Bill Witness said, lean on me when you're not strong, amen. I hear the Lord saying, amen, hallelujah. If you're weak today, amen, you're my sheep, I'm your shepherd, you can lean, amen. Hallelujah, you can lean on me. How the songwriter, when I was coming up, said, What a fellowship! Uh, what a joy divine leaning on the everlasting arm. What a blessedness, amen. What a peace of mind because I'm leaning, amen, on the everlasting arm. Hallelujah. Now, when we think, amen, hallelujah, when we think about David, <laughs> David, amen, he knows, brothers and sisters. He knows the duty of a shepherd, amen. I can just imagine when he's pending, amen, 23, amen. I can just imagine in David's mind, amen, he's reflecting on the time of his shepherdhood, amen. I, I can imagine that David is going back in his mind. And he is contem or, or, or he is meditating, amen, on the time when there was a bear that, uh, that rose up against his father's sheep and a lion, amen, that rose up against his father's sheep, amen. Uh, and he was able, amen, by the help of God to defend off that lion and defend off, amen, of that bear. And that gave David confidence, brothers and sisters, knowing that just as he was able to protect, amen, that sheep, that God has the power, amen, to protect him, amen, also, amen. David wants us to know, brothers and sisters, amen, by using the metaphor of a shepherd and a sheep, he wants us to know, amen, who in fact, amen, he is following, amen, and he wants us to know, amen, hallelujah, who he's taking his instructions from, hallelujah. David is saying, now, wherever he leads me, amen, I am going, uh, I am going to follow. And when the Lord, brothers and sisters, is your shepherd, regardless of situations, no matter a man of circumstances. Hallelujah. When the Lord is your shepherd, you can have the confidence, amen, that everything, brothers and sisters, is going uh, to be all right. Old folks say, now, nah, he may not come when you want him. Hallelujah. But he's always, amen, he is always uh, on a time. Uh, and when the Lord is your shepherd, David says, I shall not, uh, I shall not want. And that's comforting, amen, in the times that we living in. In other words, David says, now, because the Lord is my shepherd, amen, there shall be a man, there will be no lack, amen, in my life, amen. So old folks used to say, the Lord will make a way, come on, he will make a way, amen, uh, somehow, holly, even in the valley, brothers and sisters, amen, Jesus, when he was teaching his disciples, he says, now, take no thought for your own life, uh, what you gonna eat, what you 
going to drink, what you going to wear, for your father knoweth already what you have need of. But seek ye first uh, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all this other stuff, he says, now going to be added unto you. Then Paul comes back and validates that. Paul says, now my God shall supply all of your needs. Uh, anybody know, amen, that God is a provider? Amen. Hallelujah. So there ain't no need, regardless of what we're dealing with, no, regardless of what the economy is doing, regardless of what the stock market is doing, how, whether you unemployed, unemployed, amen, it does not matter, amen, hear me on today. God will, amen, make a way. God will make a way somehow. Hallelujah. Hear me on today, brothers and sisters. Uh, uh, I've learned a long time ago that worry is simply misuse imagination. That's all worry is. Think about it. Most of the stuff that you worry about never really materialize. Hallelujah. The same energy, brothers and sisters, that it takes us to worry about a situation that God's already in control of, we can use that energy, amen, to bless his name. Anybody can bless him after, amen, but it take a true, amen, saint, full of faith, fully assured, amen, that God will make a way to bless him, amen, beforehand. Can the church say amen, hallelujah. He says now, he make it me to lie down uh, in green pastures. Now, that's Jehovah Shalom, hallelujah. That's Jehovah. Jehovah Shalom. That's the God, brothers and sisters. Amen. That's the God of my peace. Now hear me today because peace is not something. Amen. Peace, brothers and sisters, is someone. Huh? The prophet Isaiah said it like this, and I will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind, amen, stayed. If you keep your mind stayed on me. Your mind is so important. Hear me today, brothers and sisters. Your mind is so valuable until, watch this now, God wants your mind in the devil. Amen. Want your mind also. Amen. Hallelujah. I rose to tell you, amen. Mind your mind, your mind. Hallelujah. And if you keep your mind, if you keep your mind stayed on him, amen. He says he's going to keep you, amen, in perfect peace. Amen. Now, this peace that God gives, amen. Hallelujah. It's not like the peace that man gives, amen. It's at this peace, amen. It's supernatural. It's not the peace, amen, in the absence of a storm. It's peace, amen in the middle of a storm, amen. It's an unexplainable, amen, peace, amen. Holly, the Bible says it's a peace that surpasses your understanding. I call it the calm, amen, in the middle, amen, of the storm. Jesus said it like this. He says, now I leave with you my peace. He says, I give you, amen, peace. Not as the world gives you, he says, but I give you my peace. That's Jehovah. That's Jehovah. Shalom. Then David didn't stop there. He says, now he restores my soul. Amen. He's talking about, amen, to re anybody, anybody, anybody understands the process of restoration. Amen. I think we're in the year of restoration. Amen. Hallelujah. And when you restore something, brothers and sisters, that means you take it back, amen, to its original, watch this now, its original, amen, value. Hallelujah. He says, now God restores, amen, that's your Jehovah Rapha, hallelujah, which means the God that is, amen, uh, my healer. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, life can beat us down, amen, the storms of life, the, 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 the worries of life, the trials of life, the temptations of life, brothers and sisters, amen, can beat us down. But David wants us to know, amen, that Jehovah Rapha is the God, amen, that healeth us, amen. How Jesus says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, he says, and I will give you rest. Amen. I, I, my mama used to say, amen, as it relates to this healing power of God, she says, now he's a doctor, amen, that has never, amen, lost, amen, uh, never lost a patient. Hallelujah. Jesus says, I'm going to give you rest. Amen. Uh, that means, brothers and sisters, that he's a heart fixer. Amen. That's what that means. Amen. That he's the heart fixer. It means, brothers and sisters, amen, that he is is a, a mind regulator. Amen. Hallelujah. When things just burden you down. Amen. Hallelujah. You can go to Jesus. Amen. With the 
those burdens. Amen. Huh? Anybody know, amen, that he's a burden bearer? Anybody other than me know that he will give you this peace, brothers and sisters, amen, in the midst, amen, of a storm. When we submit our hearts to him, hear me on today, brothers and sisters, amen, huh? when we submit our spirits, when we submit, amen, our will unto him, hallelujah, Jesus has a way of giving us a peace that we cannot, we cannot explain. Amen. In fact, amen. How many of you know, amen, he's got the whole world. Hallelujah. He's got the whole world, amen, in his hand. God knows what's best for me. Hear me. And he knows, brothers and sisters, amen, he knows what's best for you. And here's the thing about that. He has our best interests. He has our best interests at heart. Hallelujah. He leads me down the path, David says now, of righteousness. Amen. That's the, that, that's the redemptive name of Jehovah Tiskanu. Hallelujah. That means that God, amen, is uh, my righteousness. Hallelujah. He leads us where we need to go when we need to go there. Amen. How he leads us down a path of repentance when we need to repent. Amen. He leads us down a path, amen, of forgiveness. Amen. When we need to forgive. Amen. How he leads us down paths of fasting. Amen. When we need to bring our flesh, amen, back in and control. Hallelujah. The God of righteousness is Jehovah Tiskanu. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. Amen. That he is uh, my righteousness. Amen. That should have been a shouting place right there, brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. Paul says, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but the righteousness of God in by faith, which is in, amen, Christ Jesus. Amen. We don't shout about things like that no more. Amen. We don't shout about being saved. Amen. No more. Amen. Hallelujah. But I'm so glad. I'm so glad, brothers and sisters, amen, that the Lord, uh, I'm so glad that the Lord saved uh, me. Hallelujah. David goes on to say, yea, do I walk. Amen. Hallelujah. To the valley of the shadows of death. Amen. I will fear no evil. That's Jehovah Shammah. Hallelujah. Jehovah Shammah. You know what that means? God is there. Amen. God is near. Amen. Hallelujah. Like the shepherd. Amen. That looks over. Amen. His sheep. Amen. The shepherd is always. Amen. Close to his sheep. And even when the sheep stray. The Bible says. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he's the good shepherd, amen, he'll leave the 99 uh, and go after, amen, the one, amen, no matter what it looks like in your life. Hear me on today, brothers and sisters, amen, no matter what it feels like in your life, I want you to know that you are not alone. I want you to know, amen, that the God that you serve, amen, the God of the Bible, God is always, uh, God is always near, hallelujah. Paul asked the question, he says, now, what is able to separate me, amen, from the love of God? Absolutely nothing, amen. Shall tribulation do it now? Shall distress now? What about persecution, famine, or nakedness? Nothing shall separate me. Peril, sword, neither death nor life, he says. No principalities, no powers, nor things present or things to come. Height or depth, hallelujah. There shall not be anything able to separate us, amen. From the love, from the love, amen, of God. And that's good news, amen, hallelujah, because from time to time, she find ourselves, amen, in some very threatening, amen, some very threatening, amen, situations, amen. But it's at that time, amen, that your faith, amen, hallelujah, that your faith, amen, has to spring, amen, in action. And you have to remind yourself of the awesomeness, amen, of God, amen, huh? Anybody ever been in a tight spot? Anybody ever been, amen, behind the eight ball? Anybody ever been, amen, in the doghouse, amen, up, up, up the creek without a paddle, amen? I want you to know that even in all of those spots, amen, David, amen, hallelujah, David wants us to know, amen, hallelujah, that God, amen, hallelujah, that God, amen, is there. He says, now, 
now, and he anoints my head, uh, amen, with all. That's Jehovah Maccabees, amen, hallelujah. That means, amen, watch this, that's the God, brothers and sisters, amen, that sanctifies us, amen. We don't sanctify, amen, ourselves, amen. God saves us, watch this now, then God, amen, he sanctifies, he sanctifies us, hallelujah. David says, amen, he anoints my head, amen, with all. Now, in David's day, brothers and sisters, amen, in ancient time, most people, amen, they tra they walked, amen, where they went, hallelujah. And because, amen, they were walking, amen, in the hot sun in Judea, amen, hallelujah, Travis would become weary, hallelujah. And what a man, what what the host would do, amen, he would he would he would rub them, amen, with this oil, amen, to refresh them, amen. This fragrance oil, amen, hallelujah. This oil, amen, hallelujah. What it would do, amen, it would soothe, amen. It would soothe, amen, the traveler after his journey. Amen. God does the things, the same things for us, amen, hallelujah. How many of you know, amen, that God anoints us, amen, with Earl? That's when he takes and smears us, brothers and sisters, with his presence. He smears us, amen, with his power. We sang a song, uh, uh, anointing, amen, fall, let it fall, amen. Oh, let the power of the Holy Ghost, that's what the Earl is, brothers and sisters, It's the power of the Holy Ghost, watch this now, coming from within us, amen, up on us, amen. God anoints us, amen. Man, he anoints us, a man, for the journey. Then David says, surely goodness, <laughs> surely goodness and mercy. Watch this now. Surely goodness and mercy going to follow me all the days of my life. I questioned the text, amen. I wanted to know, amen, why is goodness and mercy following me? Holly, David says, because the shepherd is leading me. Hallelujah. His goodness and his mercy, amen, follows us. Amen. How many of you thank God for his grace? Amen. You know, grace is unmerited. It's unearned favor. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the goodness of God that's following you. And we bless God for grace because that's how you saved. You saved by grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Through faith. And that is a gift of God. Hallelujah. But although grace is what saves you, you need to understand it's mercy that keeps you. It's the mercy of God. Amen, brothers and sisters, amen, that keeps us. The Bible says, and that mercy, thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that that mercy, brothers and sisters, is new, amen. It's new, amen, each morning. Hallelujah. Hear me on today, brothers and sisters, amen. The God that we serve is not a God that was. He's not a God that will be. He is the God, amen, hallelujah. He is the God, amen, that is. Hallelujah. My mom used to say, amen, hallelujah. He's so awesome, amen. She used to call him, amen, her rock in a weary land. Everybody ever been in a weary land? You know, the point, amen, where you wanted to throw in the towel? You just wanted to give up? My mom says, ha, when I get to that point, amen, holly, I remind myself that he's my rock in a weary land. Holly, my grandmother used to say, he's my bridge uh, over troubled water. Holly, amen. Maybe I'm talking to a church that ain't never had no problems, amen. He says, he's my bridge, amen, over troubled water, amen. Sometimes she would say, he's my shelter. Hallelujah in the midst. Anybody ever been in a storm? Hallelujah. He's my strength. Amen. Hallelujah. When I can't, amen, go on. Hallelujah. She said, when things are dark and it's cloudy and I can't see, he's my bright and he's my morning star. He's my alpha and my omega. Hallelujah. The psalmist says he's my way maker. I know you got that one. He's my promise keeper. Hallelujah. Light in the darkness. My God, that is a man who he is. He's a blessed Savior. I thank God for that. Amen. He's a Gentile. Amen. Redeemer. I bless God. Amen for that. Ezekiel called him his will. And the widow ever will. Jesus says, 
I am he that was dead but is now alive and lived uh, amen forevermore huh? and as I prepare amen to end this amen I always like to end amen with a song amen huh? we don't sing the songs that we used to sing amen when I was coming up in the church but there was a song amen we used to sing that was called he's sweet he's sweet I know amen huh? not only is he awesome amen huh? he is sweet hallelujah the songwriter says he's sweet I know he is sweet amen I storm clouds may rise strong winds may blow but I'll tell the world wherever I go that I have found a savior and he is sweet huh? he is sweet I know hallelujah hear me on today brothers and sisters regardless of where you find yourself in your walk amen with the Lord and I am convinced that all of us amen we are in different places amen on this journey hallelujah but because our God is an omnipresent God I want you to know amen no matter what you need amen hallelujah he is God always, God always is. Amen. God bless you today. Amen. God bless you today. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the God that is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's sweet, I know. Wow. How many of you know he's sweet today? Come on, if you know it, come on, listen, your faith. Come on, faith is an action word. It's saying something, it's doing something, it's giving something. Another opportunity, oh Lord, now to worship you and through our giving. Thank you, God, that you've given us seeds to sow. The word 
Lord teaches us that you'd also give us bread for food and that you'd multiply the seed that's sown. So, Father, we ask, oh God, that you do it according to our faith. Fill us that you would be the one.